A little while ago, I made a video where I finally pressed max overall in NBA Live Mobile, and this was that team. It ended up being 114 overall, which isn't actually the max overall you can have in the game because that is 115 overall, and it isn't the max overall that I can actually get to in NBA Live Mobile. And the reason for that is when you press max overall, it simply goes off of the player's base stats and their base overall. It doesn't take into account anything to do with boost, which is a large part in actually getting your player stats up as much as possible. Now I've got a full boost chart on the Discord server, which you can join. The link as always is in the description down below. It runs through every single boost category in the game, which ones are the best, which ones on the worst to help you build out your team. But in this video, I'm going to be making the real max overall team I can make in NBA Live Mobile. And we'll kick things off with the bench players. Now we'll start off with this 110 overall Phasia because he's giving out the plus six slasher boost to team. And that is extremely powerful. And it is the best one that I've I've got out of every single player I've collected all the way from season three to now in season eight. So a lot of these guys are going to be past season players, if not every single player and item that I use in this team builder. So he's going to start things off on the bench at the point guard spot. Then at the shooting guard spot, we've got a 104 overall Kyrie Irving who gives out a combo guard boost to team. However, the best boost that I've got for the bench is a 103 overall Allen Iverson who's got a plus six goat boost to the team, which is absolutely nuts. So he's there at the shooting guard spot on the bench. Then at the small four spot, we got a 109 overall Adrian Dantley, who's giving out that plus six high fly boost to the team. He goes up to 115 overall. The power forward spot, we've got a 104 overall Kevin Garnett, again giving out a high fly boost. Again, it's going to be a plus six one. So that is really nice to have on the bench. You might notice that every single player on this bench that I'm adding did feature in that team builder series where I made every single team just because they were giving out the best boost possible. Then we got a 106 Carl Anthony Towns there, again giving out that plus six slasher boost. So that completes the bench with the best boost players that I've got. And you can see immediately that has made an impact to the top row of players going up to a 120 overall Lamella Ball, 121 overall KD, 119 Claw, 120 on it, and a 119 overall Shaq. And you will also notice it has boosted the whole team up to 115 overall. But we won't stop there. We will go over to the court and the jerseys and all the extra little items to make this team even higher in overall. So if we look through all of these jerseys through a lot of trial and error because some boosts in the past didn't work entirely how they were meant to. I figured out that the best boost that I've got from jerseys is going to be a 1996 All-Star jersey, giving out a plus six defensive boost. And then if we scroll a little bit further to this Oklahoma City Thunder jersey, this one I found gives the best boost out of everything that I've got personally on my bench. It's giving out an XP boost, a coin boost, and an old Billy Bull boost, I believe. So those are going to be the best boosting jerseys for me personally that I've got. Then the court, unfortunately, the Time to Rise court has got amazing artwork, but it's going to have to be replaced by a new court. Now I've got three, I think, or two that give out the same boost. We've got a Crypto Arena court, of course, the LA Lakers court, which is going to be the Athleticism Gold boost. We've also got a TD Gardens one over there. It's exactly the same stuff. We're just going to use the Crypto Arena one. So that is going to be court and the jersey done. Then we go over to the boost item. Now in season five, we had arguably the best boost items you can possibly get in the game. You had a Finesse medal, a Strategic medal, a Power medal, and a Steve Kerr. All of these guys were absolutely ridiculous in the game. They were boosting ridiculous amount of stats. And at one point I had all three medals, which was absolutely nuts and very, very hard to actually get up to. However, I sold the finesse one and the power one just to make the coins back because they were going for a ridiculous amount of coins. I still kept Steve Kerr over here, which you can see he gives out a plus four goat boost a high fly boost, which is gold and a plus four dead eye boost over there. But unfortunately, because a lot of my players are strategic and not finesse, he's basically worthless for this team. So he's going to be matching zero players to this team. So he isn't going to be helpful. And we've also got Steve Nash coach who is fairly decent. You can see a gym rat boost, court general, dead eye. A lot of these names are for past season boosts. They're not exactly the same as what they are now. But the best boost that I've got in this game at the moment is the strategic medal. The only medal that I actually kept because my lineup was strategic. So it over here is giving out a plus plus four goat boost, plus four pickpocket, and a plus four dead eye. You can see I'm only matching four players at the moment. So that is giving me plus two stats on everything. Then if we go back into the lineup, you can see the overall of the players have gone up a little bit further. So KD is now at 122 overall, which is absolutely amazing. But of course, the overall of the team still stays at 115 overall, because of course, that is the max overall of a team you can have in the game. However, if we just work out the overall of the starting five, it's going to come out to an average of 120.6 overall. Now I can actually up that 
a little bit more. And the reason for that is if you take a look at Allen Iverson, yes, he's giving out a plus six goat boost, which is absolutely nuts. But if we scroll along a little bit, Kyrie Irving is a strategic player and he's a little bit higher in overall than Allen Iverson. His combo god boost is not on the same level as the goat boost. However, we're going to make a couple of changes, so bear with me. So he goes there on the bench and then Lamelo Ball is going to be replaced by a strategic goat boosting Stephen Curry, who also goes up to 121 overall, exactly the same as Lamelo Ball. So there's no change in overall between those players but with those two changes we have now got six players matching with this strategic medal so that means that i'm getting plus three from that medal which actually ups the players a little bit further and in fact if you look at the average now it is 121.2 overall which is absolutely ridiculous but that is just for the starting five as a team the overall would be bang on 119 overall and that is through a lot of trial and error i'm sure there might be one or two tweaks i could do to make this even higher in terms of overall because it, it took me a lot long time to think to put Kyrie Irving there instead of Allen Iverson but there we go that is the highest overall team I can possibly make in NBA Live Mobile so of course we've got to go into a showdown quarter I reckon I'll probably come up against another 115 overall team he'll probably have some ridiculous ultimate store players or something like that but let's see who we come up against so as expected the game has put me up against a 115 overall admittedly a little bit weaker in terms of overall than the cards that we've got we've got Steph at the point guard though which is going to be super fun to come up against it's an even matchup so no overall advantage or disadvantage and unfortunately we just lose the tip off he's got season four cards as well because a lot of those guys were the highest overall players in the game just because that season ran over a little bit longer than other seasons they're going to get the two pointer off with Shaq there but we got to kick things off with Steph Curry we'll go for a three pointer it's a fading three as he just unfortunately misses that one I guess because it was fading it was a little bit tougher but we get the ball back which is good to see hopefully the claw can make a three point shot it's a deep three though good release and he just about knocks that one down so I'm going to be trying to score with everyone in this video not just trying to be scoring with one player so i might lose the quarter i might not but we'll just give everyone a shot here or there dame's gonna miss his shot which is good for us and at least kd's there to get the rebound we'll try another two pointer there with steph curry as he sinks that one i was trying to go for a three pointer but at least his mid range is completely maxed out to help him knock that one down this card i think was at the end of season six or seven one of those two they all kind of merged together at this point but we'll play over to Shaq. we'll get it all the way up to kd we'll try a three with him he has got the inside the paint ability which is hopefully going to be helpful as he knocks down that three-pointer with another maxed out three-point shot. I think a lot of these guys will have completely maxed out stats, which is good to see. Dame's going to come through to get the dunk. He's only got 106 dunking. I say only, that's still a decent-ish stat. But onto the combo coming through with that one-handed slam. His dunking at 125. And of course, that's another thing. In the stats page, I believe it only goes up to 115. But when you come into a game situation, it goes up to 125 as the complete max you can have. As you can see, Shaq's layup is at 125, which is ridiculous. So we're up to an eight point lead at the moment. Hopefully we can keep things going. On to Kumpoto, finding a way to get that dunk off. He's got him at 117 overall, which is decent. Of course, one of the superstars players back in season four. We'll play over to the claw on the left-hand side here on a catch and shoot three guarded by LeBron, but at least he's going to knock that one down. But Dane's going to use his clutch ability and that's going to be a guaranteed make. Of course, unless someone blocks you, it's guaranteed to go in. I've managed to block a couple of clutch shots in my time, but it is very difficult to do so. Let's go in with Curry though. Try and get a three pointer off. He redeems himself getting that another fading three pointer. I don't know what's up with me not getting basic three pointers with Steph, but at least he's knocking it down with that maxed out three. Dane's going to go for a two, however, and he's going to knock that one down. I had the option to put the mean mug ability on, but I kind of just missed the button. Let's play over to Antokumpo. We'll use that mean mug ability. We'll go for a three with him. Unfortunately, though, just missing that one. He's only got a three pointer up to a 118, which is still great, but unfortunately, it's not good enough to get the bucket. We'll play over to KD to try and use his in the paint ability, and he comes through with that lovely windmill dunk over there. Of course, in the paint ability, a guaranteed dunk. We'll lay up inside the paint and KD's going to get another block, which is great to see. We'll run out of the court with onto the Kumpo. Going to get stopped a little bit. Unfortunately, missing that one. Getting his own rebound and putting it back up to get their shot off. So we're up to 22 points in a quarter. Just under 10 seconds left to go. Are we going to be able to get the ball back to get one more shot off? Dane's going to hold on to it, though. He goes to the two, and that's an easy bucket for him. So 22 to 15. It's going to be interesting to see what my opponent does with his really high overall team. He actually wins his 12 to 10, but it's not good enough to beat my team. 32 to 27. So GG's to him. And that is the highest overall team I can possibly make in NBA Live Mobile. And if you want to go check out an NBA 2K24 video where I put Yao Ming in today's modern NBA just to see how he would adapt and play in the league. The video should be popping up in the bottom left hand corner and I'll see you guys in that one. Peace!